Okay, 1908, good luck. So we've not played before, we have no head to head score. 2900, nearly 3000 games for opponent, very good. Okay, that's an invitation to basically switch to a Sicilian, but we'll just play more like an English. But we could stick to the Reti principle, being trying to send out flexible. Mm, don't want to do. I'm going to stick to the Reti principle and put the bishop on the diagonal. Okay, just develop, prepare to castle. Mm. Actually, should I go forward there? I don't think he's going to take here. So I'll jump the knight forward. Could prove to be a mistake. So the knight does come forward. I don't want to sack a pawn. Up. Takes, takes. Bishop takes. Bishop up. Hmm. No, I don't think that works. Let's just take and pawn up. I guess I could actually go d3, couldn't I? I'm going to go d3, threatening to hit the queen. Say bishop comes up. Well, that's what he's done. Okay, let's develop and hit the queen then. I'm still going to make sure I actually do castle, but I think we take here, maybe come across, hit the pawn. So is that actually a move? It feels like it's a move, but am I blundering the diagonal somehow? Across, the queen moves somewhere, take, rook across. Hmm. Maybe I can throw a check in, but if I drop back, the pawn's falling as well. Yeah, it's not without risk, is it? I'm going to play, though. I'm going to play knight up wide and hit the queen. I'm threatening to take, but you do have the natural rook across. Oh, well, there, maybe I can actually play here first and invite the bishop forward. Take, and actually, not take, and then back. I think he's made a mistake there. It allows me to grab a pawn and come back with tempo, attacking the queen. I didn't have that if he'd have gone to a dark square. Let's come back at the queen and still try and castle. And the knight could get trapped though. So this is not without risk. A g5, the knight's a bit embarrassed, so I'll have to drop the knight back to g2. Okay, my pawn is still loose. I can throw a check in, bishop back. Mind you, I can check and grab a pawn. I want to take a silly risk here. I'm going to throw a check in just to hit the pawn. Yeah, bishop there. But if you castle now, you lose your bishop. As long as my king's safe. So he goes back. But now can I castle safely? I want bishop back so the knight can retreat. And I've got that option at least. Um, I'm going to drop back just so the knight can try and retreat, otherwise there's a very quick attack, which could still come, of course. So going pawn grabbing and putting the queen on the side of the board could prove to be a big mistake. Yeah, knight comes across, so can I come in? I don't want to go here, do I? That feels bad. Here, we're keeping pressure on the bishop. And we're hitting the knight, actually. Um, I can't take there right now, but... Let's come in. My queen's running the risk of getting trapped here, but rook across, I just take the bishop. Bishop moves, I take the knight, I think. Just click anywhere to clear your markings. Yeah, he's coming forward. This is actually quite dangerous, isn't it? Have I gone wrong here? Do I play a pawn up allowing a check? The idea being that the knight can't then retreat if I come up. You can't go there. So check, corner. The knight's not got a lot to go to. So I'm going to do that. I'll just step to the corner. If there's a quick attack coming with bishop down or something, then so be it. Can't spend all day trying to calculate everything. Oh, well, the knight's gone back looking for a trade. Okay, well, that should be fine. I mean, I can maybe just push the pawn up or activate the rook. Still going to be paying attention to my queen getting trapped, but... Again, I like the concept of just pushing the pawn. Maybe it activates the queen. Bishop up feels a mistake. What about pawn up? Take. That feels like a mistake to me. Hmm. I'm going to attack the bishop. 
it does kind of release the queen so got to be careful here but i might just try and run a pawn up the board sack one to run the other one that feels like what i should do but queen in is a bit annoying isn't it actually let's bring the queen back let's come back and try and cover the queen infiltration bishop down i think i'm very happy to trade oh, i missed that though i'm not happy to trade there so do i give up an exchange across bishop takes then queen down though what does the bishop do across takes queen down he's still running out of squares actually aren't you i think he's played that a tad bit quick there if you take i just play queen back i think and the bishop's got no obvious escape so he might be better off retreating here might be let's just see i did actually miss that threat though but that's risk and reward with all chess you've got to try and play at the right speed for the time control i'm a minute and a half or down on the clock okay so he's played across so i presume i can well i can't go there so i assume i come here hit the protect the pawn so we're effectively hitting the bishop and then maybe like i said just try and run the pawns the bishop will just simply retreat i assume here yeah that's what he's done so is b4 a sensible move i don't see why not so i'm going to play b4 if he doesn't trade i'll just simply march the pawn on i guess i'll pre-move in case he does but his rook's getting active now so well i don't think i've got any alternative other than queen back i don't think i've got even any other move to consider there can't go here because of his queen i can come all the way back though to see one and like i said just try and simply run the pawn or push this one oh, he's happy to trade the bishop so do i want his queen here he needs one two three move that's actually not a lot of moves is it but his queen's not doing a lot where it is so i think i'm just going to ignore that and push my pawn and if he takes and i'll take back oh he's disconnected reconnected we've got another one hmm should i play the game out i've played quite a lot of this i haven't seen if he's done it earlier in the game but yeah this is a suspicious one now should i just stop playing the game yeah i'm probably playing against an engine now unfortunately that's what it often indicates obviously yeah hmm if the quality and the speed of play changes here which it feels like it's already done then yeah i think i think something's going on here yeah look at the speed of play just change instantly okay i'm just deciding whether to actually just bail out of this one and not play the game i say the game's well then i didn't see if it's happened earlier in the game obviously i can play the video back afterwards and check but it's very clear excellent internet connection so it's deliberate actions by my opponent now do i want to take this pawn or this one does it matter i'll just take this one for now but like i say i'm not really too fussed if something's going on then i'm not really the slightest bit bothered what happens in the game nine years ago this account is so hmm only 680 games in bullet 12,000 in blitz 3,000 in rapid now rook up would be a blunder here i think because of takes 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 so let's pawn up a simple move takes takes rook takes trade off as a back rank issue yeah, i think i just simply push up here hmm I'm just leaving this here just so I can keep an eye on the internet connection if we see this again. But see, I can play the video back after the event and see how often it happens if again. Okay, so he's played rook across, but you can see the quality, the speed of play seems to have changed. Take, 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 and all we can do is try and push the pawn, but yeah, I'm just going to try and trade here. I guess I could throw f4 in, but I'm not too fussed about that. I'm trying to push the outside pawn. Hmm. Okay, so I assume bishop back is good here just to try and push on. So let's just come back. 
I see, I'm still a minute down on the clock, but okay. So I'm just gonna push up here. Like I said, I'm just trying to play relatively quickly and get this one out the way now. I know Rook Up might be a move. I say that I'm not too fussed about these. I'm trying to promote here. So Rook Up, if he drops back, we just take, take, and push, and that should win on the spot. I don't actually see. Unless I'm blundering trade, trade, rook down and some sort of bishop in, that's actually a mating net. Has he spotted that? Here. Take. Take. Actually, no, it's not a mating net right now, is it? Back. Take, take, up. I've still got my rook here now. I think I can play this. I was also debating whether to check first to drive the king up, but I don't think I need to, but I might be wrong. Yeah, he's doing it again there, so something's going on here. You can see he switched tabs there and instantly made a move, and then he's done it again. Yeah, so there's something going on with this game, I think. But it should be a comfortable win for us anyway now. So, okay, so I didn't see what was going on earlier in the game, but... Hmm, it looks very suspicious. You see, you just saw there the tab switch and then the instant move. Okay, I think we just queen here. There's no need to mess about it. So just get a queen, get rid of the bishop. Uh, I mean, I can always go f4. I can just drop the rook back. I've just got to be quick enough. So I'm going to play a rook back here and then f4 just to keep all the pawns. Just gradually bring my king up. So f4. I don't need to keep checking the internet. You can see it's excellent all the time. So I don't need to keep checking that. He's resigned, but I think there was something going on there. That's what it felt like. I'll play it back carefully afterwards, and I'll review the account carefully at some point. So we've got 44 moves. They're the move times for both players. Let's request an analysis. Yeah, so the figures are 94% versus 91% accuracy. The CPL 15 and 28. My average is about a little over 30, I think it is in rapid. 31, 32, something like that. Mm. But yeah, let's see what happens. So we're leveling the opening here. They really should show you them um, tab switches on this graph. The moderators can see them. So in a graph like this, they'll know exactly what's happened and when. But the post-game review doesn't actually show it for us players, so... Well, see, at least I've recorded the game, so I can double check. So in this position, this is where we just build a very slight advantage. You see, I'm just playing along with the graph here. There's some ups and downs, so there's some mistakes along the way. But this is all okay. We're building a gradual advantage here. Ah, I should have thrown the queen check in, not bishop to f3. So the queen check was better. This sort of concept, I thought it might allow the rook in, but it was better for the queen there. Which I did now. It's still one point now, but we make a mistake here. So what did we do here? Oh, I should have taken the knight and not worried about conceding the diagonal. So I should have actually just taken the knight there. Bishop takes, bishop takes, knight f5. Oh, then I didn't see the fact that I've got a knight check hitting the bishop, so it actually wins a piece. Okay, that's nice. I didn't actually see that. I simply didn't see it. So that's very nice, so I can understand that. And then we've just built a gradual steady advantage. I don't think there's much need to click through the rest of the game. We've just tried to liquidate the position. Just take some risk out of it, get pieces off the board. So it is what it is. And in this position, I'm just trying to keep all the pieces on the board. Rook down eventually, sooner or later, I'd be able to push and get the king into play or something like that. So it is what it is.